Hello, hello. It's me, Jake. Haven't been on YouTube in, God, I don't know. Has to have been at least six years. So it's been a long time coming. I've posted some videos. It feels a little weird. <laughs> so bear with me. Haven't actually made a video. Full face, full frame, what have you. So I post videos to Facebook groups. You've probably seen me around. You've seen this machine. And I would like to introduce to you a new series. Reviews, overviews on machines. We're gonna call this the Platinum Collection. No pun intended, no trademark infringements. So today I have for you the Panasonic Dual Sweep model MCV7505. Some of you may remember this. Some of you are probably going, what is this machine? Where has it been? How old is it? I'll walk you all through that. So basic overview. This one was, I wanna say, I don't know, 2002, 2004, somewhere in the early 2000s. I distinctly remember seeing these back as a kid when I was a younger child, of course, thinking this is a weird looking machine, kind of unusual, the dual hoses, kind of a compact, futuristic type of style we got going on here. Um, yeah, and it's, it's unusual for sure. So, aside from the fact that it's got two hoses, as some of you may know, some of you may not, it has dual brush rolls. Now, Hoover did try to do this on the Dual V and the Savvy Uprights with some complex timing chain gear belt system with a cable somewhere along the line. And it was noisy, wasn't very efficient. Panasonic, however, took this a step further, refined it, simplified, and made it an incredible clean machine all around. So, just a quick look over, and as you saw, handle is collapsible for your convenience. We do have a tool adapter in the back. Hoses are getting kind of hard to find. Panasonic as a whole. Yeah, they did some weird stuff through the years. That's all I'm going to say. They had some great machines. Actually, they all were great machines. Not everybody has such a high opinion. Me, myself, I think they're great. Um... What else? Oh, you'll have to excuse the handle. It is a little broken. It was taped before I got it. I reinforced here. Kind of got a weird little grip. But anyways, I apologize in advance for the transitions. I'll work towards a better transition in between the scenes as time goes on. So I'm just going to put you on pause and move on to the next. All right, so we are here down at the business end of the Panasonic Dual Sweep. This one was in stunning shape. I was very fortunate and excited to find it, like literally dropped everything I was doing at our local youth ranch, youth ranch, just because I never dreamed of ever stumbling across one of the, these machines. So I was lucky enough to. So basic overview. You've got two hoses on either side. They kind of sit at an opposed angle here and here above the brush roll. Sorry, brush rolls. We'll recline her back. And as you can see, we have a double counter rotating, yes, yes, counter rotating brush system. Pretty stiff standard nylon bristles, open chamber design to allow for maximum airflow. And as you can see, they're numbered from a service shop, I do believe. I can't speak for hair tangling or lack thereof. It's two men in an apartment, so there's not much long hair to be had. There is pet hair, seems to handle that just fine. Under here, and I will post a reference to this, there is actually a gearbox that both brush rolls attach to, bearings over here, and your belt system. So, we'll bring the behemoth back up. Standard bag system. I have a Kenmore Type O HEPA in there. It's a little on the large side, excuse me, but it does help this machine perform at its best. Basic motor filter there. Make sure it's all lined up. And we'll put it back on. Back side of the machine. Woo. Your host connections, tool converter, and again, I've searched high and low for one of these. I was only able to find one stretch hose on eBay that appeared to be this proper connector. And they wanted $70. Definitely not 
my preference. Down here, agitator control, basic, well, not so basic, tensioner system on an idler pulley. Actually, let's drop this down so I can try to show you. So here is main drive belt motor to main drive. And strangely enough, the motor rotates backwards, not forwards like one would think. And if you see, as I turn, it is rotating the brushes opposed. And then once it's free, it spins freely. Nothing happens here. Again, I'll post pictures for reference just for a clearer picture. No pun intended again of the operation. Behind here, not going to take it off because it is sort of tricky, a standard Kenmore or Panasonic HEPA cartridge filter. I do believe this slot here was for holding on to tools. And your rating sticker, MCV7505. I believe this was American made. I'm going to get down here with you. I can actually read it from here. Matsushita, probably butchered that. 12 amps of power. Yes, it's hard to believe that they can cram that kind of amperage into such a small machine. Compact Jetsons look whatever you prefer. It's still quiet though. With, I don't know how much airflow in cubic feet, it moves, but it is a very vigorously powerful machine. All right, I'm going to put you back up on the stand, and I will give you a walkthrough and a runaround. Welcome back. <laughs> Had to do a little adjusting. Made a mess. Orion seems to approve. So, got it all rigged up, ready to go. I will go ahead and I prefer to store this just without the belt having full tension on it. I found a replacement for the primary drive belt, but the belt from the drive pulley to the transmission, not sure where to find it. Kind of looks like a Kirby belt. It's got that ribbed type of look going to it. So I will drop the brush in to its proper position and I will start it off. So, all in all, a very, very pleasing machine to use. One of the perks, a floating head system, no height adjustments, it glides over any carpet. Any height, onto the rug, back to the carpet. You can even do bare floors with it, although, hello miss, and Dee approves. Maybe this will get me bonus points. Hi, sweet thing. Your little dual agitation and suction system so, let's talk perks, drawbacks, just because I know everybody everybody has their preference and that is okay. So, perks, biggest one, it's a very quiet machine in spite of how loud it may sound on video. 12 amp motors have a tendency to sit on the higher pitched end. Pardon me. But this one... I want to say it was an earlier generation from the late 2000s, or early 2000s, pardon me, again. So it sounds powerful, makes the lights dim down, what have you, but 
It doesn't have a super high irritating pitch to it like some of the current machines do, even running under, I don't even know, I couldn't tell you what a shark was, seven amps, maybe eight. Similar to, this one anyway, is similar to the early Hoovers of the day, the wind tunnels, the twin chamber bagless. So, pleasant sounding machine, not loud, lots of airflow, great agitation, that double brush counter-rotating system cleans exceptionally well, grooms very deep into the carpet, as you can see, and having the, I almost want to call this a three-dimensional airflow system situated between the brush rolls, kind of at a weird angle, seems to improve the dirt and debris pickup. Now, drawbacks. It can be a little tricky to navigate. There are times where it feels as though it's trying to pull itself in two different directions. That's kind of, if you're not used to any type of machine with a counter-rotating brush system, it's an odd feeling. The first few passes I made when I brought it home were kind of that, really? You want to go this way? I know. I know. I'm just chatting up a storm. Thank you. Um, aside from that, honestly, me personally, I can't find any drawbacks. It does... It's not the most energy efficient. I don't know if anybody's necessarily concerned about that. It, it produces a lot of heat. So if you're doing a very heavy vacuum whole house clean, by the end of it, you're pretty warm. It's lightweight, aside from it feeling like it's making a fight or fighting you back, pushing it across the carpet. Other than that, it's all around a very good machine. I can see why they didn't sell too well in the past, but I'm very fortunate to have this as a part of my collection. I would like to see one of these days one of the bagless models come up. They did have a later iteration. I still believe it had the double brush roll, but it only had a single hose on one side. So they cheaped out, as does every company at some point or another. But yes, all in all, very interesting machine. And I do hope you enjoyed. Like I said, it's been a while since I've posted, so feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions about this machine, and if I think of anything else notable about it, I will post that as well. So here is a photo showing the transmission and belt system of the Panasonic Dual Sweep. So silver pulley connects to the motor drive shaft. That belt then drives the other belt, which spins one brush roll attached to the gearbox, spinning the brush roll in front of it the opposite direction. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, kind of innovative, I might say. And the idler sits underneath that belt.